Hi guys and welcome to episode 23. We went looking for a new dam and after driving almost an hour up and down around it, finally we found it. We had a great day fishing here, making the struggle worth the while. Not many fish, but the size went up for that. We left home a bit later than usual, as we were on our way to a new dam and didn't have any clue how to get there. Putting our trust in the GPS soon turned out to be a serious mistake. I was close to meeting up with Carl now. I just had a bit when Carl got totally lost now. The GPS took us to places that didn't exist in reality. And every time it just tells us turn around, make a U-turn, turn left, make a U-turn, let's try again, see if we can find the dam today. The GPS, we put in new coordinates and GPS still doesn't know where we're going. Turn left if we turn right. Yeah. At this stage, we contacted the farmer and asked him for a pin drop. Let's see if we can get in now. Like this. Google Maps is totally lost today. So it looks like we're turning left here. So yeah, the direction. Now we're starting to do that. Uh, right direction to my team. Here's the train tracks. So train tracks on the map. I think we're going in the right direction now. Yeah, apparently it's a dead end to our left. The GPS has taken us again to the wrong place. Yeah. Now we can see the dam at least, so we can start our own instinct now. See if we can find a way there. Uh, I think we're getting closer now. If we watch closer here, we can cross the railway tracks. Uh, okay, yes, there's a closed gate in front of us. Try follow the yeah, car. I think we should try follow this dirt road. Just water all around. <laughs> the water is deeper than you think. We might be on the right place now. Here's the dam to our right. Seems Carl got in at the gate, so let me also try getting in at the gate. Not the best of roads here. Guys, we had a dam. Hallelujah! So, guess what? We made it. Here's some water. Just finished setting up. Sun is up on the horizon. Carl's first rod is already in. Let me show you what I'm going to do here on my right hand side. I'll take beast float. Oh, I think this is cold. Right, I'm going to take RPA. It's no ease. I'm going to make a little backing with this. These are very dumb in the school, so. Right, the ball I'm going to put a bit of work at, which is a uh, honey base. Black and nice. This one can lie a little bit in the water. And with that, I'm going to put the beast ball down. Someone is going to put my 
Oké, dit is een moment kaas op een spoel. Je kunt zien voor een little bit of distance hier. Yeah. Today, there's a split piece that I put in some water overnight. Uh, Place them in the, into my feeding balls. My three feeding balls that I'm going to put in without play, without bait, just to create a little feeding spot now. Let's see how it goes. my left rod, I'm going to go with tornado float for my top hook and my bottom hook I'm going to put TFC, TFC is bunch spice and uh, what is now is in English called? Close. Close. Bunch spice and close. It's getting winter now, water is getting colder. I think the water might be like a cold now. We're going with stronger flavors now. Not so much with the sweet flavors. So this I'm going to put a little bit of sweet. Honey glow. Just look how the honey glow changes color when it eats the ball. Just look at that lovely, lovely honey color that it turns into. And with that, I'm going to put a bit of cheese skunk. This is Devil's Track. Devil's Track is a sort of old age medicine that they used in the olden days. It's got a very very strong onion flavor. There you go. Then I'm going to put my hooks back. The other rock I didn't put my hooks back because I had the backing at the back of the hook. This one don't have a backing so I'm going to put the hooks back in the ball. Uh, the reason for that is I don't like it to helicopter one once I'm casting. They want the floats to stay close to the ball. And if he starts to float, they must come to the floats. Guys, let's put it back there on the spot and see what happens. Short the rod. Left side. Let's get rid of my pants quickly first. <laughs>
very cool, very cool, very yeah. black. Say. Now, but if it's a new commit, so what I'm going to try now this trace only a spring, no sinker, only one hook. Very light presentation, see what happens there. But first, I'm going to put in some two or three more bait balls here on my left rod because I'm going to use this trace on my left rod. You can see there I've my, let my policeman hang very low close to the water so that uh, the fish can move a bit before it pulls tight. The cow's got something on here. Guys, when you finished watching the video, please leave us a comment. Let me know if you like the changes I'm making to the videos. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and share this video with your friends by using Facebook, Twitter, Whatsapp or whatever you like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and click on the notification bell next to the subscription. I'm going to go into net for car because these lines go over.
being a recipe. Look for the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice fish. Gave quite a bit of fight there around the corner. Went in the reach, but because I had no second hook on, I snipped off the second hook, I was able to pull it through the reach. Okay, I put that one on this uh, left hand combination of mine on. Uh, Bit on the TFC float, and then on the ball I had the honey glow and the skunk that I started this morning. Oh, thank you, Carl, for photos and everything. But it looks like Carl's got something on here. Uh, just put the camera down and go net for him quickly.
me taking his fish off here in the net. See, I haven't even loaded the left, this left hand rod of mine just right after me that he caught the fish now. And just like that, our fishing was done for the day. But don't go away, we are going to have a look at how Etienne and Matthew did for the day. Sheesh, bo! Papa, the fish. Check our bend. Ufulai. I see an arbor. Okay, kijk maar op ook. Sheesh, big, very big up, my people. Yeah. We are going to release big, big fish now. Okay. Bye bye, have a great time. And this was then the end of our day and time for us to get home. Till next time guys, be safe out there and tight lines. Cheers! <laughs>